production mine. That's three cars and one motor. Production mine, you'd be talking 10 or 20 cars for each motor and then, you know, only a couple dozen motors running around in here. Then on top of that, you have drills and dynamite explosions and all kinds of things getting whacked by a hammer. This was a very ridiculously noisy environment. So usually if you ask a coal miner uh, how his hearing was, huh, huh, what'd you say? They really didn't have it. Um, now to talk a little bit more about our mine again. Now I assume everybody did notice as we were coming in our tunnels that we eventually branched off to the right to come where we're standing here. Well this auxiliary tunnel where we're standing, this is what is known as a siding or a passing branch. So like the term passing suggests, well they gave our coal cars an opportunity to pass each other. Well if everything was driven uphill, folks there are a few exceptions to that. One of which is right here. It actually briefly levels off for a period and we noticed it got a little bit wider and there was two sets of tracks inside of the floor. Folks, this was used as a staging area. All the full loaded coal cars would come here, get linked up until we had enough to build a large string or train. Then we would tie up the main tunnel and haul them outside. But then it allowed our main tunnel to remain open for foot traffic, tools, empty cars coming in, whatever the case may be, all day long. It was one of those things that just made sense. Now, another thing to cover, Mules were a primary mode of power for a very, very long time. And it does make sense if you can make the work a little bit easier on the animal, well, they'd be more willing to perform that said work. So they would have been set up to pull the full and heavy coal cars downhill and bring the empty and light coal cars back uphill. Again, it was one of those things that just made sense. So now the next thing to cover, if we look above our heads, let me get my bright light out here. Again, they drove these tunnels out of solid rock. It is primarily sandstone, slate, and shale. But let's say we start looking back at our loading platform here, folks. You see wooden timbers supporting the roof back here. You see, folks, even though anthracite coal is known as hard coal, or even sometimes stone coal, it is still significantly softer than the rock that surrounds it. So, well, whenever we intersect it, we have to help support it some. Otherwise, that roof might come crashing down on our very heads. But folks, don't fret. Of course, we do have a safety inspection each and every morning before our first tour. It is very safe inside here. But at least it serves as an excellent indication when we see these structures. It tells us this is exactly where a vein of coal runs through this mountain and through our deep anthracite coal mine here. Now, if you're curious about the size of these veins, many people are, they do vary in thickness. They actually go from mountain peak to mountain peak, or at least some of the veins do, some you find further down the mountain, but they all go clear underneath the valley floor. Most of them are over 2,000 feet below the floor. Now, they only start roughly eight to nine miles to our east by northeast in the town of Jim Thorpe, formerly Mont Chunk, and they continue well over 50 miles to our west by southwest, all the way into Dolphin County, near Harrisburg. They are quite massive. And if you're worried or concerned about, did we stop uh, mining here because we ran out of coal? Folks, we barely even touched it. We probably took out less than 10% of the coal just from this immediate valley. Now also another important note, anthracite coal is found in other places in the world. But when you analyze all the different known anthracite coal reserves, Northeastern Pennsylvania has about 85% of all of the world's anthracite. We also have some of the best quality of anthracite coal here. And do we have any questions? All right, we're going to start heading down this tunnel, folks, if you'll follow me. Right. 